Guys, gals, everybody in between, this is going to be your week's video because, well, let's just, let me show you what a little teaser what's to come this weekend. All right, you ready? You ready for this? Of course the rain has slowed down, but uh, supposedly for the next four days or something, it's going to be high winds, heavy rain, thunderstorm. Today it's kind of chilly at like 50, 60 degrees. Tomorrow it's supposed to be in the 80s, and if anybody knows what happens when a cold front hits a hot front, more or less, those two, it's called tornadoes, and I live in freaking Kansas, so yeah, that plus with all the big thunderstorms, and you know the new property I've talked about, we've had internet issues, you know, keeping it up and going, so yeah, we're probably not going to be able to get like a proper video out <laughs> this week, but what I can do is I could film you a short little stubby video here. Hopefully you guys will understand. I had a bunch of different projects lined up. God dang it, I got rain on the camera already. But I had a lot of videos planned. I've been keeping a notebook. I've got like seven videos I could technically work on. And I have two queued up, almost ready to rock and roll. But this video is just in case we have internet issues or I can't possibly get a video up tomorrow. So I just wanted to let, well, tomorrow you guys will see this. Well, you'll see this whenever I decide to post it. I just wanted to let you guys know that Mother Nature's a little bit cranky, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, basically. But I'm going to go ahead and take this moment, since we're doing this already, I'm going to tell you guys some things that are going to be in some future videos that I mentioned, but we're going to go and talk about them right now in the rain, because why the hell not? First things first. Pay no attention to that project because that is way down the road. I'm making a more or less a movie series on that particular car, Jezebel-esque themed. The red Polaro, which I cannot untarp because, well, I don't want it to get rained on. But anyways, all the viewers who want to know about the 64 red Polaro and why it's sitting outside. The reason why it's outside is because we have basically pushed it to the back burner and I am focusing 100% on the cars that I've owned longer. AKA my Duster, my 73 Satellite, and of course, Jezebel way over there. And we'll go look at Jezebel here in a second because she looks great wet. But anyways, the deal with the Duster, okay, so we got the 340 we're working on for it and I will take you in there and show you a little bit about that. The 73 satellite, everything is good on it, but of course you can see that tire's flat. It's got a hole in the sidewall finally. So I was just at JS Tire talking with those boys about, well, we just got a tire fixed for the Polara here because there's stuff coming with this. But I'm going to probably work with them on getting new tires for the satellite so we can start driving it because that is the only thing keeping me from driving that car. The 64 Red Polara 500, it's been a pretty big... Uh, video series car as of late this car still needs all the rust repair done to it more or less and i really don't have time especially with me deciding that i would rather focus my time on my other cars so it's either we sell it or we get rid of it or we send it off let someone else fix it well if anybody knows the legendary mopar dan peacock who's a friend of mine and is actually local to me and actually is the same guy who sold me jezebel you know jezebel my 70 Charger, I actually gave him a call under the recommendation of a buddy that he had some free time, more or less. Well, you know, as, as free as all of us have for time, you know what I mean. Anyways, Dan offered to do all the floor pan, cow work, and all the, the trunk work, basically make the car solid so that way I can just do the fun stuff. And he gave me basically the same kind of buddy price he gave to me when I bought Jezebel from him all those years ago, back when she was still just a 318 chopped up 70 charger that was fairly solid but gutted so dan will be taking over that i don't i can't promise you video updates on that and stuff but basically i'm gonna let dan handle that stuff and for the viewers who may be grumpy about that well tough because that's all i'm gonna say is just tough i don't really have the time nor the energy nor really the resources to want to get everything set up to do all that work right now especially when well, let me just, just come with me. Oh, now we're out of the rain. But as you can see, we have this 340 here, and I have been working on a video for this thing for quite a while. Howdy, Anna. Hi. And uh, basically, we've got a lot of things figured out on this thing. This thing is almost ready to rock and roll. 
but I'm going to push the video back on this, maybe because I have a much cooler idea involving a friend of mine. And so when that happens, it'll happen. So I know I promised this video would be coming out here pretty soon, but instead we're going to work on some other projects, throw out some other videos. I hope you guys enjoy those because, well, what I've seen of the videos we filmed, they seem pretty fun. I mean, if you didn't already notice, there's another project in our midst that is not mine, but it is my dad's, and it's added to his forever, well, eclectic, awesome collection. He has completed his, what would that be, four? His quad extra, uh, or actually, I guess, what it, well, and it's not quinceanera, because that's, that's Spanish for party. So, I, I don't know what it is. It's basically... His giant collection of cars, basically. He added the coolest thing I think a man could have added, and we had a lot of fun going and getting it. So, that'll be a video you guys will see. So, but yeah, basically as far as videos go, I want to get the 340 done and in the duster. And then one of those fights was pulleys and finding the right power steering pump because it's a power steering car. I don't want to convert to manual. And, of course, Holly got us the converter. We got all those parts fixed. The tunnel ram is fixed, thanks to my local friend David. Thank you very much, David, and also for also doing the machine work to get the the uh, excuse me torque converter fitted to the engine. I've got some really awesome friends, let me tell you. But you also see in this other bay where the player used to sit. I'll just show you that our TTI headers are underway. We're going to bake those. That paint on. I've already done a test with that paint, and. So far, so good. Now, I want to touch on something real fast for the old Barely Cuda for everybody who's a fan of this thing, because, well, I'm a fan of it, and I know there's quite a few of you guys out there who dig the Barely Cuda. So this thing has one little issue, and that's the rear end is, unfortunately, a little too narrow. I think either the rear end shifted just enough to the driver's side that now the passenger tire's rubbing, because it used to not. I think that's the problem. So if we had a little bit wider rear end, a wheel spacer, or anything like that, but I'm not big on running wheel spacers on, well, something that I do want to drag race, but I will say this as far as drag racing this car. You guys see how many projects we got going on. I started keeping a notebook to keep track of the projects, let alone the videos and the video projects I'm working on. So, yeah. Time to go racing with this thing, especially now I gotta diddle with the rear end. This is not really so much a super focus. I like to look at this thing, I like to fire it up, and it motivates me. We'll get to that one. And if you're curious what's in these boxes, I want to say thank you a million to my best, my, my, one of my best friends, Rob, for hooking me up with windshields for both those 64 cars out there. Rob, you are the man. So, let me take a minute and think if I forgot anything. All right, I just confirmed with Anna, have I forgotten anything? And she said, no. Hang on, I gotta fix my hair. All right, so now my hair is not as curly thanks to the rainwater. I also wanna throw in that we do have a plan for Jezebel as far as getting her done, if I haven't mentioned it already. This is the 400 I plan on stabbing in the 64 Polaro 500. Well, it's got this 1970 date coated 23 spline 833. It just happens to be attached to it when I bought it. The idea is to take that thing off, and I got some new clutch discs from Ram to go right in my dual disc clutch that I already got from them. And we're going to stab this transmission right up onto Jezebel. And then we ain't got to worry about teen spline that's all grenadey. We could take our time and rebuild that in the future. So that'll be pretty dang neat, I think. Oh, well, guys, gals, everybody, Anna. <laughs> We're going to step outside one more time if it wasn't locked. I locked it because it kept swinging up. I know. The wind is very strong today. But anyways, so here's to hoping to see you guys in another video here soon. And hopefully everything survives here because if you guys don't know, this property has a lot of huge trees and a lot of widow makers. And let me tell you, we've lost a lot of branches. And I got a feeling we're going to lose some more. There was one laying right in the driveway earlier in hell. Just the other day, a big branch fell off of that tree. And dang near, would have it would have creamed Anna's truck if she had been there. It would have been bad. And so, 
yeah I'm gonna take you guys to the barn because I just want to show you this this is something we have been working on I did get a comment from one viewer wanting to see like updates on like what we're doing around the property and stuff and one thing I'm not big on is showing everybody all of my stuff we'll show you that stuff and this is a video here that will be coming out here shortly for Alloy Works, a company who sent me a radiator to do a review on, and I'll go ahead and spoil it. It exceeded my expectations. I did not expect that thing to do what it did. And now I will say in the video, when you guys watch it, I, there, there was at least a good solid 40 minutes of runtime on that engine, and she never got above 140. And I'm going to go ahead and say this for Alloy Works. Thank you guys a million. And for anybody who wants to purchase a radiator from them, we do have a discount code. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what the discount code is because if you watch this video and you go to Alloy Works' website and you use code SPEED, as in Scott Speed Shop, you know, S-P-E-E-D, it saves you 8%. And that radiator right there is a four core 22 inch with an electric fan, a shroud, relays, a even a thermostat switch to activate the fans for 340 bucks and with my code you can get that guy for 311 dollars which means you can still take your old lady out for dinner because well that's like 30 bucks and 30 bucks will buy you a pretty decent dinner still in most places if you live in california i can't speak for that but i just wanted to show you guys what we've been working on in the barn there it is this entire bay has been cleaned up. We spent a day dragging the junk out and then pushing some of the good junk in there while leaving most of the bad junk outside. But some of this bad junk, like any eagle-eyed viewers who know what year that K-member is, might be able to piece a couple of things together if you know what I mean. So if you guys look forward to seeing that in the future, let me know anybody's got any name ideas for any of the new project cars drop them down below along with the duster the duster doesn't have a name and if you haven't seen any videos on my 340 duster and you want to get acquainted with the car remember it's got the big black pro stock hood scoop it's got torque thrust wheels on it now mini tub narrowed eight and three quarter all that fun race car stuff that i plan on just using as a street car daily driving with a calm shift w2 340 with a ton of ram Whoa, that's gonna be fun. See, I gotta remind myself what that's gonna be like. That's gonna be fantastic. So, pardon me for getting a little excited there. Ah, oh, feels good to have progress. You can smell it almost. It's called progress. And also money burning, because that means tires and, you know, gaskets and all that other crap. But, anyways. Let me go see if Dad's done anything out back before we shut this all down. Yes, indeed. Dad has built some racks here. We're going to store rear ends on this and whatnot. So there's your update on that. Dad did a really nice job on that. Sorry, Dad, if I'm not putting too much effort into that, but we ain't got the rear ends on there yet. He did stud those, by the way. That's not just screwed into the siding. That's actually into the boards. Anybody wants an update on this thing, we're going to go ahead and show you a little bit on this along with the dozer is still on top of the hill for the three of you who watched that video when we got that thing tracking thank you very much but as for our big red and white dodge semi here our 74 c cnt 800 this thing needs some massive frame repair and we knew that from the get-go and our plan was always to shorten the rear end on this truck and put a fifth wheel on it and that's kind of what dad's in the process of doing is getting rid of all the stuff that's junk and keeping all the good stuff and if we can find a whole nother cutoff a back half from another truck with a modern suspension that is something we are kind of entertaining but it's got to be local it's got to be something we can get hauled by the way there's an idea of the rain we've had with my brunt boots well, i guess it's not that much rain it's just enough to dang near cover the boot but oh there we go Finally got some thunder on the camera. But all right, guys. With that, we're going to call it a video. Because I hope to see you guys in an actual full-length video with action and whatnot. Instead of me just rambling for 15 minutes. 
But I wanted to give you guys something just in case you don't get a video tomorrow and you are worried. Okay? So, as always, guys, I look forward to seeing you then. So, as always, take care and bye bye.